It was standing room only for another local school board meeting tonight. Last night, Upper Arlington, tonight in Bexley. This comes after a blatantly racist picture was shown throughout the entire building during morning announcements at Bexley Middle School on Friday. NBC Force Kyle Beachy was there tonight. So, Kyle, the reaction from parents. To say these parents were upset would be an understatement. There was anger, there was passion, there were tears, and then a call for action. Black History Month. Let's go, gang. Here's an orangutan and a, and a, and a damn watermelon. He's, this typifies black people. Next month, what are we going to do next year? An uh, uh, ape and uh, some chicken? I'm tired and I'm done, and I know how to sue. An image of unbridled racism shown to the whole school Friday at Bexley Middle School during the morning announcements. Carl Woodford's 13 year old daughter, a witness. We have kids now who are coming to school hurt. They're crying. They don't they're confused and you expect them to do well in the classroom after this. Parents packed the school board meeting Wednesday, 17 signing up to give the board their thoughts. But if you all allow people to do things like what just happened here, I can't trust you. You're proving yes. that you're part of the problem. Y'all should have drug him out of that school. Parents united, calling for the firing of the teacher responsible for supervising those announcements. And I really don't believe that your school was really trying to do anything about it, because if you were, you would have fired that guy immediately with justice. Board members stopped short of calling for firing the teacher, but did have criticisms. But the truth is, back sleep is not good for everyone. It never has been. <laughs> but it can be. This is not the time to be color blind. This is the time to be color aware. The superintendent says an investigation is underway and can't comment on the students involved, but the teacher responsible is on administrative leave. And many of these parents noting that this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Just over two years ago, a student attacked on social media with racial slurs. Local for you in Bexley, I'm Kyle Beachy, NBC4.